Uh, well, this is just a, a, a brief look at uh, self-referential types. Um, I'll go into more detail in the uh, next lecture, I suppose. And um, is uh, is what they look like. Um, here we're using the type parameter t here. There again, and it's the uh, same thing in both cases. Well, this is a bit alarming when you first look at it, but um, uh, it's not really that bad. Um, the idea here is that um, anything, any any use of it is going to be like this. Okay, so that obviously looks a lot more uh, clean. If you think about it, and um, uh, to ensure that it's like that, we declare taxpayer to be like that. And um, what's happening is that, um, uh, as you can see from this. Uh, the uh, parameter T that you supplied has got to be um, a subtype of taxpayer of T. So things like it, you, you can have therefore um, uh, types like uh, taxpayer employee, for instance, and that would ensure that um, the thing you passed in, employee, was indeed a, a sub uh, subclass of taxpayer. Uh, that's got some uh, uses. Um, it's a design pattern that occurs very occasionally, and uh, um, when I go on to discuss design patterns, you'll see you'll see this in some uh, more detail. Slightly, um, I suppose, marginally more extreme example it occurs in uh, Java.lang itself, and uh, there you'll see um, something called enum with a capital E. It's an abstract class which is um, declared as being uh, um, e of um, uh, enum is uh, um, something which extends enum like that, and uh, it implements things. Uh, it implements uh, comparable e, which is not very too hard to consider, and uh, serializable. And what happens, in fact? Um, I'll go into this when I discuss enums properly, but what happens is that um, if you define an enum like this, you can actually put a whole lot of other stuff in here, but if you define it like this, um, what happens is the compiler turns that into uh, this final class color extends enum color. And uh, suddenly that's what enums really are. They're things, um, these things enum there are things which extend this class here and uh, because of the way it's done um, the only way to use this class is by extending it like this so it prevents anyone else from subclassing this uh, it's more of a sort of trick than anything else but um, uh, it does explain why enums behave the way that they do and when we cover enums we go into detail about what's in this class you'll see how it's uh, You'll see how that implies it, its behaviour and stuff. 